Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my best of beauty 2016 and I decided I would go ahead and break it up in categories and start off with lips because you guys know I like my lip products. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you all the lip products that I've loved over the last year. But before we get started, I do want to mention that a lot of the lip products that I'm going to share with you guys today are more on the nude side slash neutral pinky side because that is just what I tend to wear on a day to day basis. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys, the things that I've been loving. So if you're not really into nude lips, I'm not sure how well this video would be helpful for you, but I hope you guys like it and let's go ahead and get started. Basically in 2016, it was like a year of lip liner and lip gloss for me, but I do have a few lipsticks I want to share with you, but I'm just letting you know for a warning, I don't have a lot of lipsticks. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with lip liners. I have five of them to share with you guys today. So the first one is MAC Strip Down. This is a beautiful brown tone nude. I love this lip liner, especially paired with MAC Peach Stock. I think it's a beautiful combination. So I've been wearing this a lot. I think it's gorgeous. The next one is a Bare Minerals lip liner, and they came out with these, I would say like mid-year towards the end of the year, but I love the formulation of these lip liners. They go on so beautifully, and this one is in the shade Freestyle. And this is more of a beigey brown nude. It's a little bit lighter than Strip Down, but still beautiful, and I think it goes with any nude lip combination. Next, we have one by ColourPop. This is in the shade Bound, and it's a beautiful pinky mauve shade. This looks great if you're gonna wear any type of like pinky or more neutral lip. I think it's so stunning. I love this one paired with MAC Cream Cup. It's like the perfect combination. So I've been wearing this one a lot if I wear a pink lip. And then one that's been a favorite since about June or July is Urban Decay Naked 2 Lip Liner. It definitely pulls more on the pink side and I absolutely love it. I just think it's so versatile. It goes with so many different skin tones, so I think that you guys would like this one as well if you're looking for a good neutral lip liner that's not like stark nude. And then last but not least is this Marc Jacobs lip liner. I have worn this so many times. You guys have probably heard me talk about it in videos. And this is in the shade Nudist, and it's just the most beautiful nude lip liner. I absolutely love it. I do tend to wear more of like a washed out nude lip. I just personally feel more comfortable in those, and this lip liner is like perfect for that. It's more like a peachy nude, and I just think it's gorgeous. Definitely like one of my favorites. I wore this one out of the year the most than any of the other ones. All right, so now let's move into lipstick. I'm gonna start off with this one by Marc Jacobs. I actually purchased this when I purchased the Marc Jacobs lip liner and they pair beautifully together as well. This is in the shade Annette, I believe is how you say it. I will link it down below for you guys as well as all of these products because I am the worst at pronouncing things. This is one of their sheer gel lip liners. Honestly, this color doesn't come off really sheer, but it's not like super, super, super opaque like a liquid lipstick, but I think it's a beautiful formulation. It's not too slippery on the lips and it stays put, so it's just one of my favorites. And this color is just like the perfect nude Especially again if you're someone that doesn't want to be like super washed out on the lips. This does give your lips some color and it's a really beautiful peachy undertone. Not to mention the packaging is gorgeous and it's actually really cool. It's magnetic. So I think that's really neat. And I'm sure you guys know that I would be mentioning these Rimmel lipsticks by Kate or the Kate Collection by Rimmel. These lipsticks are amazing. They're like $4.98 at Walmart. They're so good, you guys. They're creamy, they're opaque. They almost look glossy on your lips without having to wear a gloss, but they don't slip around, so they're like perfect. And the three that are my favorite so far are number 40, 42, and 43. I definitely wanna pick up more, but these are a must have. I love them. And then I have two lip products that I mainly wear just in the center of my lip, but I wanted to mention it to you guys because I do tend to wear them a lot. So the first one is the ColourPop shade skimpy this is the glossy formulation it's beautiful to pop in right in the center of the lip to make your lips appear a little bit more full this is definitely like that perfect baby pink nude that most of us like I know I really am a fan of it so I think that this is just beautiful on the center of the lip and if you do have lighter skin, this would be beautiful just all over your lips as well, but definitely in the center, it's gorgeous. And then the other one, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about so many times here on my channel as well. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Longwear Lipstick in the shade Melted Sugar. I have wore this in so many tutorials, it's probably so repetitive, but I'm always popping this right in the center of my lip. It's the perfect nude shade just to make your lips look a little bit more full. So I'm always wearing this. I throw it in my bag, take it everywhere with me. It's a must have. Again, Melted Sugar by Too Faced is where it's at, y'all. And I know that 2016 was like so on trend for matte lips, but I've mentioned this in other videos that 
I'm not the biggest fan of matte lips because I do have drier lips and it just exposes all of my dryness. So I try to stay clear of liquid lipsticks if I can, but I do think they're so beautiful. And the one that I found this year that I really, really like is actually by Bare Minerals. They came out with the Gin Nude collection towards the end of the year and I fell in love with this formulation. It's so beautiful. This is in the shade Hemp. This is definitely more of a pinky nude, but I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. It's almost like your lips, but better. I kind of don't like when people say that because I just think it's so weird because I feel like everybody's lip shade is actually a little bit different but this is just like that perfect neutral lip I'll say instead of nude it's a neutral lip so I have been just like obsessed I love the formulation it's not drying it's creamy it lays on the lips beautifully so definitely a favorite of mine in 2016 and I actually did want to give an honorable mention to one other kind of liquid lipstick product. And this is by the brand Sephora. So it's the Sephora collection. And this is the Luster Matte Long Wear Lip Color. This is a really, really great formulation as well. It actually kind of reminds me of the Bare Minerals Gin Nude one. It's very comfortable on the lips. This one is definitely more pink. This is in the shade Petal Luster. Luster? Yeah, Petal Luster. And it's just a beautiful everyday pink. It, it almost kind of reminds me of MAC Cream Cup in a liquid lipstick version. So it's super beautiful. All right, so now finally moving on to lip glosses. You guys know I love my lip glosses. I'm always carrying a gloss with me. Like I'll put lip liner on in the morning, pop some gloss on it, and then reapply gloss all day long, and I would be totally satisfied. So the first one that I want to mention is by Hourglass. This is in the shade Child. This is one of their, what's it called, Extreme Sheen Lip Glosses. It's a very light, sheer lip gloss but I think it's so beautifully paired over any new lip. So definitely a favorite of mine. I've got a lot of use out of this in 2016. And I also have two lip glosses by Bare Minerals, part of their Gin Nude collection. I kind of went ham when I saw it in store because of all the nudes. I just like, I wanted them all. They were all so beautiful. But these two are definitely my favorite of 2016. The first one is Tantalize and it's more of a brownie nude, but it's so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Balm Snap lip gloss. It's so beautiful. It's just a very natural lip gloss if you have darker skin this lip gloss would be so beautiful on you and then the other one is a pinky nude lip gloss and this one is in the shade snarky and it does have some reflex of shimmer in it which just makes your lips look very plump and juicy so I love this one a lot too so I feel like I'm saving the best for the last two and they are by Anastasia Beverly Hills and then one from Marc Jacobs so the one by ABH is in the shade undress this is just like a go-to nude lip for me it's definitely very opaque you don't even have to wear a lipstick with it at all and it literally looks like you're wearing lipstick it's just so so opaque it's beautiful it's glossy it's comfortable on the lips and it's definitely a favorite of mine it definitely is more of a peachy lip gloss without being too peachy like your lips look peach it's just like that perfect nudie peach if that makes sense it probably makes no sense to you guys unless you're a nude lover like I am then you definitely can tell those little subtle differences but this is just a beautiful gloss I wear this all the time and then the very last one is actually a little bit new to my collection but I am obsessed with it I wore it literally every single day since I've got it this is the Marc Jacobs sugar sugar lip gloss this formulation is what makes it so good. It's so comfortable. It's opaque, but not too opaque. It's definitely not as opaque as the ABH one, but it's definitely still opaque. It's super, super glossy, which I've been so into. And the color of this one is just it's spot on you guys. I have just like fallen completely head over heels in love with this. I definitely want to pick up more because the formulation is just good. So these were all of my favorite lip products in 2016. I would love to know what yours are. So please be sure to let me know in the comments. I'm trying to branch out a little bit and I plan to a little bit more in 2017. So let me know your favorites and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be on the lookout for the rest of my best of beauty coming up in like the next week to two weeks. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.